category on the girls' side. Big news coming through that the number one this season, Natrice East out of Jamaica, has withdrawn from this event. She will only contest the 200 meters here. And so leaves a fantastic opportunity for the rest of the field. Not that she was an overwhelming favorite, Natrice East, and I'll tell you why in a little bit. The championship record, 11.27, set in 2018 by Brianna Williams, who represented Jamaica and went on to win the world on the 20 double. Both 100 and 200 meters. Here's the lineup for the first heat. Linda Sire of Guadeloupe. Merlia Matut, French Guiana. Athalia Hinkson of Guyana, the favorite. Kylie Wallace of the Bahamas, Priya Wilson of Bermuda, Chloe Jennings of Turks and Caicos, and Ravian Skavis of Bonaire. Athelena Hinkson of Guyana, the one to watch in this first semi final. Only the winner guaranteed of a spot in the final. As the athletes get ready, 307 is Hinkson of Guyana. There she is. 11.43, her personal best. That was done in November last year. She is the second fastest under-20 athlete in the history of her country. Kaliza Smith, who was in the Carifta final in 2022, the only one who has gone faster. And maybe now with East out, Hinkson is a slight favorite for gold. Saya Matut, Hinkson, Wallace, Wilson, Jennings, and Viss. Definitely a big favorite for this semifinal, Athalia Hinkson of Guyana. She goes in lane number four. Eleven sixty-six and eleven fifty-eight this season, so she's been in very good form. From what we saw at 400 qualifying earlier today, we know that the Guyanese team very much on a high. And the athletes seem to be dropping personal best performances at will. Matut of French Guiana in lane three there. There is Hinkson, the favorite, in four. Kylie Wallace, the Bohemian. No, she has an outside shot of being in the final. Priya Wilson of Bermuda, a 12.50 performer, will have to be better than that today to be in the championship race later on. Chloe Jennings of Turks and Caicos and Viss Ampunir rounding out the field. Four semi-final races in the under 17 girls, 100 meters. Only the winner guaranteed a spot in the final, plus the next four best on times. Stand up, stand up. What, what that been? Huh? Huh? She started Ludlow Watts, just trying to figure out what the issue is with one of the athletes before they send this first seat off and running. First seat of the under 17 girls, 100 meters. The winner assured a spot in the final later on the 100 finals as Gerard pointed out earlier will close the show we are 11 minutes past the scheduled start of this first heat on your marks And once again, Ludlow Watts gives the athletes the command. 
and uh, sends them to their marks. First heat of the under 17 girls, 100 meters. Athalia Hinkson of Guyana, the favorite in lane number four. Once again, no Natrice East of Jamaica. She's decided to go 200 Set. only here. Off they go. Pretty quick gun and Hinkson, beautiful through the drive phase, takes control of the race. Wallace of the Bahamas in third position with Matuta French Guyana in second, but Hinkson blows the field away in qualifying for the 100 final for under 17 girls. 11.86 on the clock, that was never in doubt. It's Hinkson who wins the first semi-final race of the under 17 girls 100 meters, and that looked pretty good. Here's another look at it. Nice, beautiful drive for Hinkson, compact through that drive phase, up into a sprinting motion and easing away from the rest of the field as we're joined by Terry Finnis here. That's a good looking run from the Guyanese. I heard to get things uh, kicked off this afternoon and uh, national record holder also a fine long jumper and uh, she'll be pleased with her execution here this afternoon having a quick conversation at the conclusion of uh, her opening heat. We'll get confirmation of her performance. Second fastest Guyanese junior of all time. But she's still only a youth. Tremendous quality she has. Althalia Hinkson of Guyana. 